both 5'6", 152 and 156 pounds respectively. So I saw her um, at a Boston boxing event. Uh, she is very, very, very high volume. Dude, she's ferocious. Yeah, ferocious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very high volume pressure fighter. Um, I was, I was impressed. Like, like genuinely impressed. Um, no, by the way, like, not just, just high volume, high pressure either. Like, she's not she, totally raw. No, no, no. Like, she, yeah, like, she, she, she can box. She can box a little bit. Uh, I, but I think. Uh, it's, she's she's not someone who's gonna be passive. She's not someone no, who's no, gonna no, feel no, it no, out. No, I think she's not gonna, at all. She's gonna take the fight early. Please welcome, fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Redline Fight Sports and trained by Vincent Morin and Joshua Bartholomew, Nicole, baby-faced assassin, Trio. Now, I think this girl's kind of... Oh, oh who's that girl? Yeah, no, yeah, okay. All right, so I, I, I got this as the top song for the... For the yeah, day this so is a front far. Runner. Like they, so, if you look around the crowd, like even like they, like the people that showed up for like other people are like, you know, this is the jam. Um, Nicole Trio trained out of uh, Redline Fight Sports, which is a, it's a long time institution. It's moved around a lot. New to the program is Vincent Moore, and he's been there for about a year now, and he's really taken over the boxing he's program. He's changed. He's a uh, fantastic, fantastic boxing coach. Good friend of ours as I well. Think, so look, man, everyone says every this fight is sponsored. Right? This is supposed to be on paper. I think it might be supposed I, to be very, so, very, very. Vincent told me this girl's good. I think I could be wrong, right? I talked to Vincent quite a bit, right? And, and he's pretty honest. I think this girl's good, but I'm telling you I've seen uh, the girl at a box, Smith. And, and Jess uh, Smith is like a Haymaker staple. She is at Haymakers more than Haymakers alum. Yeah, yeah. Anyone this else. Is, this is her um, backyard. But I've seen, um, did she go by Lash, Mark? Uh, yeah, so it doesn't say it here, but uh, people refer to her as Lash. I've it's seen Lashira Lash. Lakura. She no is like the realest of real. No, seriously, too. Yeah. Um, and again, She's not just raw either. Depending no, but but she is ferocious. I, when, she's, when the she, bell rang, she came out she's and she did yeah. three hard two-minute rounds against a girl that could box. I don't want to name drop anybody, but but it was a girl that in New England that could like fight. So let's see if the pace is as high as we think it is. Yeah. Oh, but Trio again. Uh, see, I heard right she's good. Trio. Landing. Yeah, hard. See, this might be a good scrap. Now, <clears throat> it's a matter of. Is Trio that sharp? And she might be. And can she mash Dash's pace? And yeah. she, uh, or Lash's pace, rather. Um. So, so lo lo lots Whoa. of polish from Trio. I mean, just yeah. literally just her, her weight shifting and that, that shoulder bump. <clears throat> but, Mark, how do you uh, discourage polish? Yeah, you, you with volume and, 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 and that's right? it. It's, it's not like <clears throat> if, if you can't outbox someone, try to outfight them. And I'll tell you, um, Lash is double punching a little bit. She's kind of pushing a little bit more. Now she's having some success again with the rawness, but she's walking into some stuff. Uh, yeah, if you if if, she, if Lash can keep up that pace for three straight rounds, it is a hard style to work against. Both her arms being extended, it's kind of hard to land good it. Great jab. jab by Trio there. Really good. <clears throat> good left hook got, got Lash's attention. Good good jab by Lash. Good right hand over top by yep. Trio though. Again, nice little right hand by Lash inside. As, as, as ferocious as the lash is, I'd like, I'd like to see her settle down and box a little bit more. There's a lot of double arm stuff going. Ooh, great um, right boom, hand by Trio. Yep. Oh, she, she's finding, finding her range a little bit. 
a good good combination, but this it's gonna be interesting how the fight plays out later on. Yeah, is it, can Lash keep that pace, or is it gonna exhaust Trio? That, that's what I mean. Because yeah. it's like, I've seen Lash go. Um, Trio's got a great jab. Last I'm, time I'd I saw like Lash, though, by the way, it, really it wasn't um, 1,500 people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. There's, there's a lot, there's, a, there's an adrenaline dump that happens under the big lights. Oh, great straight right hand by Trio. And now, yeah, and, and I think Trio is landing cleaner. La oh, I said that, but Lash landed some decent right hands inside there. Good right hand by Trio back. Good jab by Trio back. Great, Great jab by Trio. Best punch of the so round. So he, here's the deal. Yeah, tough round to score. If, if, if you're me, what do you uh, want? That, that's blue Trio. all day long. But because I'm not you. Yeah. So that, it, wait, explain the biases. Yeah. Right? So 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 it, 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 when it comes to boxing, it's an inherently it, it's a subjective sport. There's certain things that you're supposed to be not looking for. Not in a for. negative sense. No, no, absolutely. It's just it's human nature. You're gonna be looking for different things. So you're gonna have judges that scored Lash's ferocity. She clearly was the busier boxer. It's not even up for debate. Trio was the more polished boxer by a landslide. She landed the more telling blows. She landed the cleaner blows. <laughs> now, now let's also say Trio was also aggressive, and Lash was also landed clean. Absolutely. So um, th 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 that wasn't a blowout round by any means. I did think Trio landed much cleaner. Yeah, so when it comes to scoring criteria, the number one is punches landed with either the weight of the body or the shoulder behind it. And I thought Trio um, landed. I thought Trio landed the, the, the cleaner yeah. shots. Especially there's there's additional jabs. criteria, but that, that's like one and one A. Yeah. So round two, we'll see what the pace is like here, see if there's any adjustments. Trio's got a great jab, great jab. She needs to tighten up that hook a little bit. Um, and, and Lash is doing what she should be doing, right? Swarming. Yeah, it's just a oh, great, great jab again. I think Lash is also discounting her own boxing Yeah, a bit. so she knows she can be ferocious. <laughs> she knows she's tough and aggressive. But I've seen her box. And, and I worry that she's relying too much on just raw aggression. Sure. Because she thinks she can, she can outwork. And she might be able to, Trio. by the way. Yeah. Because if you look, Trio she, is fading a little bit yep. here. I mean, I, that's it's, it's, it's a really, really grueling pace. And Good I, right I think hand by Nolan on the way out there. As far as the opening of that round, I thought that's Lash's best work so far, by the way. Yep. Uh, Trio landed a decent little right hand there. Trio, Trio, Trio working the body a little bit more this yeah, round. I don't um, love it, though. Neither do I. I mean, it's just, she's, I'd like to see her just be long, long, long. Great snappy jab, just like that. A little less flare of the good, elbow good on that right overhand. Hand over top by uh, uh, Lash again. Yeah, Lash, lots of success in the first 30 seconds. Looks like she's slowing down a little bit. Trio looks like she's slowing down as well. Good right hand over the top oh, by Trio. Okay. Another nice, real real short right hand by Trio. Both reaching a little bit. Ooh, oh, that real was, yeah. nice tight <laughs> overhand. <laughs> the crowd all gassed with that one. Now, also, like anyone in the world, judges have what's called recency bias. So if someone if someone clears out, like if Trio clears out the last 30 seconds of this round, Lash, a lot of people are going to forget that first 30 I mean, seconds Lash of Lash. Clearly, I mean, absolutely came on brutally strong to start that round. Now, does it matter if Trio closes? Because right now, this middle round is anyone's to take, uh, and Trio just shoved a jab uh, down uh, Nolan's throat there, and yep. Nolan's pushing again. No, Nolan she's, re she's really relying jabs. on just... And like so, and it sounds disparaging, but it's and, and it's I don't it's that noodle arm attack, it's that yeah. two arm kind of zombie walk forward. It's it's much trios just around. just so much, so much cleaner. Much again, there's around. I, so I, so I, I I disagree. I just really do. I, I think Lash had a very 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 strong first thirty the seconds. The thing is, she she closed out the last ten a little bit. I think that was a closer round. Folks at home, when it's a unanimous decision for blue, I just want you to know that oh Mark my, was right. Are you right. kidding me? Dude, Mark, I'll tell you right now. Mark Nolan. Judges, they love aggression with something like this. He's going to be on uh, He's gonna be on the left side of your television. I'm sitting on the right side of the broadcast. Am I? Hold on. This might be mirrored. Who knows? Mark's the one not wearing a tie. I didn't Look have to. Scrub. Didn't know I had to dress up. Pierce um, Brosnan, the correct answer for the best James Bond. No one's going to agree with that. Well, also, no one's going to believe Roger Moore. I always pick Roger Moore because of Lost in Translation. Underrated film. No, it's not. It's probably no, overrated. I, mean, I love it. it. Did it win an Oscar? It no, it didn't. No. It was nominated. Well, he probably won an Oscar. It was like, uh, Sean Penn, Penn won it or something. Yeah, for, uh, yeah, with the worst Boston accent ever. Except for um, Patriot Day. Ugh. And Mark Wahlberg's like, no way, hey, guy. Whoa. There's a, there's a market basket in the corner. Third and final round. Again, Lash, tremendous aggression. It, again, if she could do this for six minutes straight, sure. that's a trip. Yeah. That's not, yeah, very much a trip. Melissa Kelly wiped it. Well, it's right back to the, the action. Though. Yeah, I love that. I'm fine with one trip. 
Yeah, see, I just, the, the aggression seems to wear off a little bit earlier each yeah, and every round. Trio finally took an angle there, man. I'm telling you, she got pinned a few times yeah. there. You know? Um, you know, I find it interesting, too. Good right hand Is by Trio Nolan there. Is Trio really a uh, red line Vincent Percy? Because um, there's another gentleman in the corner, uh, Joshua Bartholomew. Yeah. And he's actually the first. A great jab. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. Great jab. Um, by Trio again. Oh, right yeah. hand behind the ear oh. there. Great right hand again. Good one, too. Um, again, like th these l lashes, head is snapping back. It's, she's got a great chin, uh, clearly a great heart. She's she's tough as nails. So I, I don't see any any fear of an eight count from blows like that. Um, good yeah, right hand behind know, the ear man, again. That was hard. I mean, that was telling. Yeah, I... I, I Again, Lash giving a great account of herself. Trio is catching these uh, on her I arms. Just, I Lash just think she, not. yeah, I think she just put too many eggs in that aggressive she's basket. Back she's yeah, it's that, that that double arm attack, and I, now, now I she's backpedaling. Trio's flailing that right hand though. Shut that straight down the pipe. That's better. That's better. Yeah, Don't chasing a little center. bit. Good, Good angle there. Great angle there. So, she but yeah, she should be yeah, right. harder to the right. Cut her off. And now move forward. Um, La Lash likes to exit to her own left. Um, Uh, again, the, the pace was incredible. Ten seconds left. Uh, um, yeah, see, the crowd's actually good. Clapping. Good body work the at the end. The people that are cheering yep. here are not, uh, did not show up for either one of these Yeah, teams. it was like, just a, the what crowd. a great scrap. I, so that was three, that, to, three to, great bouts in a row. That was a great, great fight. So I, that, that round was, to me, a clear trio round. I, listen, Marco. I believe the trio won that bout. And everybody at home should too. I believe. Trio Again, Lash won. gave a great account of herself. I mean, Trio won that I'm about not, three rounds tonight. Hold on. That, what I'm telling you is don't be shocked by a winner a, by unanimous you're decision. You'll win by split decision. I'm telling you, I, don't don't be shocked if uh, they say red corner here. All right. I, I, I would be shocked. Trio was clearly the cleaner boxer, and by the way, winning that third round was 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 huge. <laughs> Official decision. Of the third bout coming up again, Haymakers for Hope, Bells of the Brawl, live from the MGM Music Hall at Fenway Park, Thursday, October 12, 2023. This bout brought to you by our silver sponsor, Boston Medical Center Health System. If the red corner wins, you know how you, you can tell? Vincent will post about it on Facebook. He is not shy. Yeah. He gets very upset. And you have to read it in his Canadian accent. Yes. Decision, decision fighting out of the blue, blue corner. Blue yeah. corner. But it was a split. Nicole, a baby one. face That's assassin trio. And there's some boobers. Congratulations to both fighters.